Greetings and welcome everyone. My name is Wes Bunn and I'm a technical writer here at Epic Games. And today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at Blueprint in Unreal Engine 4 and how you can use it to script functionality for your games. Uh, disclaimers here before we get started, uh, we're using Unreal Engine version 4.8 for this video series. Uh, and this series is aimed at those of you that are totally new to Blueprint. So if that is you, you are in the right place. Uh, if you already know a little bit about Blueprint, uh, please take this first video here as a bit of a refresher uh, before we jump into the engine, as this is going to be the introduction or overview of the system before we start working with it in later videos. Uh, and speaking of those later videos, let's talk about what we plan to cover here at a glance for this series. Uh, for starters, what is Blueprint? Uh, we'll give you the quick high level uh, elevator style pitch at what they are, and we're going to cover that in this video actually. Then we'll talk about where they are and how to access them uh, inside of Unreal Engine 4. Uh, the truth is, Blueprint is used quite a bit throughout UE4, but we'll cover the two most common areas in the form of level blueprints and class blueprints, and we'll talk about both of those a little bit here in a moment, as well as cover them extensively when we get to them in uh, those videos later in this series. And then we'll talk about how to work with them. And this is something we'll probably be doing in each of the videos moving forward. But basically, how do I use Blueprint to create things? So uh, for starters, what is Blueprint? Well, if you boil it down, uh, Blueprint is really just a form of visual scripting. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, well, what exactly is visual scripting and what does that entail? Well, there are some folks out there that really enjoy programming, and then there are some folks out there that do not. Uh, those programmer types enjoy typing in lines of code or uh, C++ or C Sharp or whatever language they prefer. And they do so in things like Visual Studio, which looks something like this here. Uh, so they enter in code line by line and they have their project uh, and other information there on the right. Some people like to uh, develop their games in this manner, which is perfectly fine. Uh, on the other hand, some do not like looking at lines of code all day or they do not come from a programming background. Uh, maybe they're artists or level designers or some other form of designer. Uh, Blueprint in Unreal Engine 4 is a way of scripting those same lines of code, but allowing you to do so in a more visual way. And this is done by connecting a series of nodes, which have some functionality attached to them, uh, together to create that same functionality that was traditionally only available to programmers. So on the right here, we have a couple nodes that have been wired and connected together to turn on the collision of a trigger box. Now that trigger box could be used to signify some gameplay event in our level, and we've done it through a visual way by connecting these nodes. So in many ways, Blueprint works identically to writing code. In fact, when you are working inside of Blueprint and creating Blueprint script, you are coding, believe it or not. Uh, you are just doing so in a more visual way by connecting those nodes together to get the functionality that you need. Now, even this uh, concept is not entirely new to Unreal Engine. Uh, if you're coming from UE3 or UDK, uh, we had a system called Kismet, and Kismet was a form of visual scripting similar to Blueprint. However, when working with Kismet, the script that you created was all based around and contained within each of your levels. So if I created several scripts for enemy behavior or maybe an elevator lift of some sort, uh, you would have to copy and paste those portions of script in each of your levels for that functionality to exist because they were self-contained in each individual level. So this brings us to the visual scripting system in UE4, Blueprint, which is the successor to Kismet, as Kismet no longer exists. Now, a bit of a terminology uh, timeout here. You may see Blueprint abbreviated to just BP for short, or you may see or hear the term blueprints as individual things, which they are. Uh, when we say blueprint, we are usually talking about blueprint visual scripting, the system. Uh, and when we say blueprints, we are talking about the objects that are created as a result of using blueprint visual scripting. So I just wanted to mention that in case you're on message boards or forums and so forth, and you see blueprint versus blueprints, uh, that's kind of what it means. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, but back to the differences between Kismet and Blueprint, uh, and really the main difference because the two are still very, very similar. Blueprint is no longer bound to individual levels. You can create several blueprints, say for enemy behavior or that elevator lift, as I mentioned earlier, and you can drop those blueprints into each of your levels and they will just automatically work. Again, if you did this in Kismet, you would have to copy and paste all your scripts from level to level to make sure that that functionality exists in all of your levels, which you no longer have to do with Blueprint. So it's, it's Blueprint's the evolution, the, 
the second coming of uh, Kismet, essentially. Now, there are several different types of blueprints that you can create. In fact, if you prefer, you can kind of still script things the old Kismet way on a per-level basis uh, using a special type of blueprint called the Level Blueprint, uh, which we are going to be working out of in the next video in this series, actually. Uh, and then there's also what's called Class Blueprints, which we'll jump into later in this series. And for these, for lack of a better analogy, these are modular portions of script that can be used throughout your level. So that elevator uh, sample that we wanted to create, we would create that out of a class blueprint. And then we can just populate our level, any of our levels with this class blueprint, and they will just work automatically. And where blueprints really shine is with this class blueprint, we could expose parameters to allow us to adjust how our elevator actually functions. Maybe we want one elevator to move faster than the others. Maybe we want one to move in a different direction, etc. Uh, we can expose those parameters in blueprint and allow us to create variants of that same uh, elevator script and just toggle the things that we want to changed uh, with Blueprint very, very easily. So it's very good for quickly prototyping out concepts or, or uh, scripted behavior or events uh, very quickly through Blueprint. Now, the other thing that I wanted to touch on when talking about the transition from UE3 to UE4, back in UE3, we had something called Unreal Script, which was very similar to coding. This has been completely replaced, actually removed, as there is no Unreal Script anymore with the implementation of Blueprints. If you prefer the method of line-by-line -line coding, uh, you could do that in C++. And actually, Blueprints and C++ are very closely connected. Uh, you could create a class in C++ and expose it to Blueprint so that your artists or level de designers can then tune and tweak the functionality or take it and expand upon it in Blueprint. The idea is that the heavy lifting, the back-end stuff, you know, networking stuff, et cetera, uh, could be delegated to programmers who code the function functionality for it in C++, uh, while your designer artist types work on the systems that kind of tie things together or provide the moment-to-moment -moment, uh, gameplay scripted events or other gameplay-related uh, bits of functionality. So to sum up all of this information that was just thrown at you, uh, <laughs> Blueprint and Unreal Engine 4 is our visual scripting system, uh, which, allows you, which allows you to connect nodes together to create some form of scripted behavior or functionality. And there are several different types of blueprints, which we'll start to explore uh, in the next video, starting with the level blueprint, uh, and then moving forward into the class blueprint. And uh, then we'll talk about how you can actually start working with blueprints to get the functionality that you need. So that's actually going to do it for this video here, this uh, intro to Blueprints. In the next video, we will start working inside of the level Blueprint and get our hands dirty and, and start actually working with the system. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you then.